the, la the latter, the last, the late part of this ummah, except that which rectified the first part. We will not go back to the honor, to the dignity, to the being the supreme nation until we go back to what rectified their condition. What rectified their condition? Their strict adherence to the Quran and the Sunnah according to the understanding of the first, first three generations. So I say, Ya yeah, Muslims, Ya yeah, Muslims, all over the world, here and elsewhere, we are in a very critical time in this Ummah. We have been suffering a blow after a blow. Something which we haven't experienced in our past. No matter how bad the condition of Muslims were, uh, or was, never were we in a condition where the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will be made fun of, and drawings will be made about him, and we are still we. This never happened before. When a woman among the Muslims, a woman, she was harassed by some of the kuffar, and she screamed from the other side of the earth, wa mu'atasama, who was the leader, the emir, he sent a letter to the people, he said, we will bring an army which will begin in our land and end in yours. So they sent this woman back safely. Even when the Muslims were going through all kinds of sufferings, never did we reach this low situation like we have today. Why? Because we don't act upon this way of life. So we need to change our ways. Every one of us must make it his ultimate objective in life to live up to these standards and to raise his children upon these standards. We don't need nasheed and we don't need playstations and we don't need Nintendos, we don't need games, we don't need entertainment, we don't need that anymore. We have plenty of that 24 hours, seven days a week. We need deen, adherence, people of knowledge, people of da'wah, and application. If you want this ummah to change, if you don't care for the ummah, then Allah alam what will happen to one of us on the day of judgment if we don't care for this ummah. And this is not the condition of the real followers of this ummah. We love for the ummah what we love for ourselves. So we must make this move. And the tax, the penalty, is the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Three different wordings and they are more. They are those who are upright when the people go corrupt. Strangers. He said, uh, Islam began as strange, it will return to being strange, give glad tidings, give the good news to the strangers. They said, who are they, O Messenger of Allah? He said, those who remain upright when the people go astray. That's one quality which we must have. You can't be like every Tom, Dick, and Harry. You must be a real Muslim. The second quality, الَّذِينَ يُصْلِحُونَ مَا أَفْسَدَ النَّاسِ وَفِي رواية مِنْ سُنَّتِي مِنْ بَعْدِي Those who rectify what the people may corrupt. Not only you rectify yourself, you rectify others. And in some of the narrations, my sunnah, they rectify of my sunnah what the people have ruined after me. And in one narration, there will be a minority of righteous people among a majority of evil people. Those who will disobey them will be way more than those who obey them. But this is the tax. You will become a stranger. You will have fingers pointed at you. You will have people warning against you. You will have people leaving filthy comments on your lectures if you ever deliver any. You are the one who will get attacks in emails. You are the one who will be spoken about. That's fine. This is the tax for you to go to agenda, for you to be part of this for these strangers. You will be a minority among many evil people. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, are you one of them? If so, alhamdulillah, strive and raise your children accordingly. If you're not, alhamdulillah, who, who has given us a chance to make a change. Learn this deen. We have classes in Aqidah, in English. No excuse for anyone here. Classes in Aqidah about the very topic which I discussed right now, the names and attributes of Allah. For the brothers, sisters, it's recorded. You can get the recording and listen, no excuse. We have classes in Tafsir. We are, there, there's da'wah going on in English per this methodology. Alhamdulillah, it's available. No excuse. Get involved, learn, 
and teach. Otherwise, we may not make it. I ask Allah to accept our deeds and pardon our shortcomings. وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد